Hello, hello, it's Stumpfit here. Here's an item on geometry. Given this figure below, we have a lot of tangents. So we have one tangent here at the bottom. We have ta one tangent here at the top. And we have, a, we have another tangent, this blue segment of length 5. Given this figure, find the length of the red segment here. As usual, pause this video if you'd like to give this item a try. But if you're done, let us dive into the solution. All right, so let's try to make some primary observations and see what we can do to answer this question. All right, so first of all, we have a right triangle here. Legs are five and 12, I think it's pretty obvious. We can use Pythagorean to get that. This, the longer, uh, the hypotenuse here is gonna be 13. And here I just labeled some points for reference. So A, B, C, D, F to be the points. All right, the second thing we can observe is that DB and EB, they are tangents from point B. So BD should be equal to BE. And I kind of split it, I kind of split BD and BE as follows because of the points and how the given, um, how the figure gives that like, um, like this. So I separated BD into BA plus AD and then I separated BE into BC plus CE. Now we know what BA and BC are but we can kind of make a very nice observation here. And that point A is technically a point outside the circle and AD and AF are tangents to the same circle. With this, I can say that AD would have the same length as AF. And same thing, same can be said for point C over here. Point C is outside the circle and CE and CF, they are both tangents to the circle. So CE, I can technically write as CF. Now, with this information, it's very, it's very, very nice because BA, AF, BC, and CF, as you can see here, BA, AF, BC, and CF, the, if I add them up, that should give us the perimeter of this right triangle, ABC. The perimeter is 5 plus 12 plus 13, which is 30. So it is expected that BA plus AF and BC plus CF, they should both be 15 each. So essentially, I can say that BE and BD, the two tangents, would both have a length of 15. All right, with this information, we can kind of expect that we will be using the cosine law to help us get what the length of DE is because we already have DB and EB. All we have to do is just find the cosine of the angle here and we can just get the value of DE squared and just take the square root of that from the cosine law. And getting cosine theta is not that difficult because we have a right triangle here and it's a 5, 12, 13 triangle and the cosine of theta adjacent over the hypotenuse of 13 it's going to be 12 over 13. So DE squared would be equal to 15 squared plus 15 squared minus 2 times 15 times 15 times cosine theta. Now we can kind of write DE squared as a little bit nicely here. DE squared would be 2 times 15 squared minus 2 times 15 squared times 12 over 13. Now taking the square root, I can bring the 15 out. So DE would be equal to 15 after bringing it out of the square root. So it's 15 square root of 2 minus 2 times 12 over 13. Now 2 times 12 over 13, that's 24 over 13. And then the 2, I can write it as 26 over 13. So whatever remains inside the square root would just be equal to 2 over 13. So DE would be 15 square root of 2 over 13. We have to rationalize this. So multiply square root of 13 in the numerator and denominator. So it becomes 15 times square root of 2 times square root of 13, that gives us square root of 26 divided by 13. And this will be our final answer. Hopefully you guys learned something new from this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!